done by this for the last 400 years is to realize that human beings are not separate, that the world is one thing, the natural world, and it can be understood. This is very counterintuitive. This is not at all obvious, this naturalism claim. When you talk to a person, they have thoughts and feelings and responses. When you talk to a dead person, a corpse, I hate to be morbid here, but you don't get those same responses, those same thoughts and feelings. It's very natural, very commonsensical to think that a living person possesses something that a corpse does not. Some sort of spirit, some sort of animating soul or life force. But this idea, as it turns out, does not stand up to closer scrutiny. You are made of atoms. You are made of cells, which are made of molecules, which are made of atoms. And as physicists, we know how atoms behave. The laws of physics governing the behavior of atoms are completely understood. You put an atom in a certain set of circumstances, you tell me what those circumstances are, as a physicist, I will tell you what the atom will do. If you believe that the atoms that are inside your brain and your body act differently because they are in a living person than if they are in a rock or a crystal, then what you're saying is that the laws of physics are wrong. That they need to be altered because of the influence of a spirit or a soul or something like that. That may be true, science can't disprove that, but there is no evidence for it. And you get a much stronger explanatory framework by assuming that it's just atoms obeying the laws of physics. That kind of reasoning is a big step toward naturalism. Now, of course, I could go on. We could talk about modern cosmology and the origin of the universe. We could talk about neuroscience and what consciousness is and so forth. But I don't want to do that right now. We can maybe talk about it later, but I don't want to do it right now basically because it's kind of boring. And the reason why it's kind of boring is because the argument is finished. The debate is over. We've come to a conclusion. Naturalism has won. If you go to any university physics department, listen to the talks they give or the papers they write. Go to any biology department, go to any neuroscience department, any philosophy department. People whose professional job it is to explain the world, to come up with explanatory frameworks that match what we see. No one mentions God. There's never an appeal to a supernatural realm by people whose job it is to explain what happens in the world, everyone knows that the naturalist explanations are the ones that work. And yet, here we are. We're having a debate. Why are we having a debate? Because, clearly, religion speaks to people for reasons other than explaining what happens in the world. Most people who turn to religious belief do not do so because they think it provides the best theory of cosmology or biology. They turn to religious belief because it provides them with purpose and meaning in their life, with a sense of right and wrong, with a community, with hope.